Hello and welcome to the next episode of our Inside AGS video feature, giving you at home an inside look into everything happening here at Ackland Grinch School. My name is John Tate, I'm Deputy Head Teacher, and I'm delighted to be joined this afternoon by Claire Martin, our Student Welfare Officer, and also Holly the School Dog. So, Claire, can we just start by, I think where parents might not know what your role is because it's not that front facing, just a brief description of what your role is and, and, and how the Student Welfare Officer rule works. Yeah, so uh, my role is to work with students and their families um, and to make sure that um, everyone is happy coming to school and that any students that are having a bit of a tricky time um, are supported and, um, like I say, happy in school. Fantastic. Right, now, let's move on to Holly. So, um, <laughs> how, how long have we had Holly as, as, as our school dog? So, she's been with us about 18 months now. Uh -huh. And um, she's um, she's absolutely lovely. She's been with us since her puppy. Uh -huh. um, she loves coming to school. Yeah, it's the best part of her day. Fantastic. Now, the, the question that I get asked most, and, and the reason why I want to do this, because a lot of people ask questions about, so you know, what, what does Holly do in school, etc., etc. But the, the, the single most asked question is, what happens at the end of the school day when everyone goes home, and what happens at holidays and weekends? And you know, can you just explain kind of your role in that? Yeah, absolutely. So Holly lives with me. Holly, sit. Um, Holly lives with me and um, my family and she comes home with me um, on a weekend and at we and um, over the holidays we go out, she comes on holiday with us, um, yeah she's spoiled rotten really. Fantastic. Now um, she's not like any, other, any old dog uh, and obviously she has to have some kind of training to be a school therapy dog so can you talk through um, you know what, what that is so parents can kind of get, get an idea of, of, of how she's trained and what she's trained for? Yeah sure so um, Holly had um, initially the trainings about her temperament to so make sure she's the right temperament to be in school and that she's happy to be petted and um, that you know safe for students to be around um, and then um, we're also doing a pet therapy assessment so that will continue um, and it's an ongoing thing and it's ever evolving we're constantly checking and monitoring her. Fantastic right so in a, in a, in a normal week uh, in an average week I know every, every week's slightly different but what are the type of activities and things that, that Holly does and, and, and why is it important to us as a school uh, to, to have a therapy dog? Okay, so um, we did a lot of research before Holly came into school and um, it was mainly around um, the fact that it's proven, there's been lots of research about the effects, positive effects of having any animal in school, mm -hmm. but particularly dogs. Yeah. Um, they have a very calming effect on people. Yeah. They um, are known to reduce um, any stress levels, mm -hmm. um, to kind of um, make sure that people just feel relaxed and are more open to talk mm -hmm. and also boosting confidence and learning skills Fantastic. Um, so that's what we're all about at Ackland Grange. Okay. So Holly, what's it like being the first ever canine member of our AGS family? It's so nice coming to school every day knowing that I put a big smile on the children's faces that I work with. Uh huh. Yeah. I love being part of the AGS family. Cats. Can someone check that out? I thought I heard cats. So the, the type of things that she gets involved in now, I know that she works, uh, she works with, kind of with, with the behaviour team sometimes, she works with our school counsellor, so can you just tell me a few things that, that she kind of does and, and the impact it has on our students? Yeah, sure. So, um, like you said, she works with the school counsellor, so um, specifically um, around bereavement mm -hmm. um, and going in and going in as part of those counselling sessions yeah. and um, providing an environment where um, students are able to sit and just talk and it being um, you know, a non-judgmental um, environment for yeah. them to be able to say what they want yeah. um, and she obviously just sits there and is happy to be stroked and uh -huh. um, helps to make sure that they're in the right type of um, frame of mind to be able to then go into school and, and do what they need to do in school. Fantastic and I've seen students taking her out for a walk yes. as well in terms of that being able to really settle students if, they've, if, if something's yeah. kind of happened where they feel um, just maybe not in the right frame of mind um, and I know students are going to be you know, starting to read to her as well so I think there's, yes, there's lots of great ways. Time, yeah, yeah absolutely so it's, it's an exciting <laughs> time. <laughs> and she is coming for a cuddle. Um, <laughs> And what? How does um, how does she get her exercise? I know some people kind of say, well, you know, that's not really great if she's cooked oh, up in an office all day. So but lucky. with our kind of yeah. great big sight, I'm sure that's great for her, isn't it? Yeah, it is. She's so lucky. So staff get to, and students get to take her out for walks yeah. um, during the day. Obviously, she has the run of the school field. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are a, a no dog site, and yeah. um, so the, it's the whole of the school um, yeah. field because obviously the only dog is allowed is Holly because she has been tested. Yeah. Um, 
so um yeah she's really really lucky and um, we get to, every week we get her home and she has to have a bath because she's been out on the field and uh -huh. she's uh, um all got herself all muddy fantastic and, and and lastly i suppose we we pride ourselves um at developing everyone in the school whether it's adults in terms of professional development whether it's students how have you seen holly develop uh, and kind of change or mature i suppose uh, maybe in her attitude since she's been here yeah so um it's been wonderful lately to watch her um change and obviously when she came in she was a puppy mm -hmm. um and she's now two years old um and she has settled down absolutely lord she used to be quite bouncy and, yeah. and she's learned to come in she's learned to come in and be settled and to be happy um in school and um as you can see she's she's not stressed at all but because obviously her welfare is, is our yeah. priority as well um and she yeah she just loves coming to school so she's the one coming in on the morning wagging her tail happy to see everyone fantastic and she's got she kind of clocks in and out like we all she do with staff as yeah, well yeah she has her own she has her own pass yeah, yeah well and that's important in terms of health and safety yes. and, and time the fire drills and that kind of stuff as well so right. yeah she really is i suppose like a, a member of staff isn't she she is absolutely yeah, yeah. fantastic right brilliant Okay, um, I, and well, I think that's a, it's a great insight into, into the, the school dog and, and really kind of why we, why we really pride ourselves on that and, and how we take you know, that extra little bit of care uh, in terms of everyone in our building, uh, whether it's students, whether it's staff, or whether it's our, our, our school dog. Okay, uh, moving on into the next couple of weeks, I, don't, I probably don't have to remind you that uh, coming up is our half term uh, and I'm sure you're going to have a great time, whatever you're doing. What I would like to remind you though is that we're back on Monday the 24th of February and just like every morning, uh, every, all of our students can have a free breakfast now down in Hall, so please take us up on that offer. So, from Claire, Holly the School Dog and from me, have a great half term and we will see you in a week's time. Thank you.